Hey, here's the recipe for my chocolate avocado pudding. Welcome to my kitchen. I want to show you today how to make a chocolate avocado pudding. So sounds kind of gross, but it's actually amazing. And if you grew up in the same time I did, these would be similar to like the snack pack. So you definitely have to try this. Uh, it's base ingredient is the, the good old avocado. And this is great for if you bought a bag of avocados and they're starting to go off or like they're all ripe at the same time. This is a good recipe to make to, you know, if you are over the guacamole or whatnot. So uh, I'm doubling this recipe, it only calls for one avocado. But I wanted to show you kind of how to pick an avocado and the best uh, practices for preparing it. Um, so when you're picking it at the store, it depends on when you're gonna eat it throughout the week, but if you want a ripe one, the skin should be a little soft. And there's a little trick that if you remove the little part where the stem attaches to it, it should be nice and um, green. The, like the color of, of a ripe avocado. So that's one way of doing it. And then I'll show you how to open an avocado. So you got your chef's knife and you slice into the pit there, okay? And then you go around and then you can twist and voila, okay? And then to remove the stone or the pit, you want to Give it a little high chop, twist, and remove. Oops, of course it didn't do it while I was talking to you, but there we go. Um, I can show you guys again how to do that. And then you can just put this in your greens bin. All right, so into the pit, all the way around, watching your hands, twist to open. See, these are nice and ripe. And then to get the pit out, give it a nice chop, twist and remove. Okay, so we've got two avocados here and then to remove the flesh, we're gonna be using a uh, food processor, which I just have off to the side here. Um, we're gonna remove the flesh of the avocado with a spoon. So you just dig all around and that gets a good quantity of it. If you can't get all of it, you can just go ahead and scrape it. And there you go. And this can also be used as a little vessel if you want to serve it in this too, which is kind of cute. Okay, and then removing this. So avocados are predominantly fat. Oops, excuse me. Two thirds of the avocado is monounsaturated fats. And that's what's really well known in the Mediterranean diet. So it's heart healthy fats. And this pudding is full of it. So I'm actually gonna keep these to serve them in because I because they're doing really well. Sometimes they tear, you know. Peak season for avocados is a long time. It runs from June until I think March and peaking in October. So you've got a long avocado season. Um Okay, so we've got two avocados in there. This recipe calls for one, so you can make it however many you want. But it's really simple from there on. So I've got organic cacao powder, different than cocoa powder, but it can be used interchangeably. Cacao powder is a raw, um, a raw form of the cocoa powder. It just has, it possesses more nutrients. It's more nutrient dense. So we'll put that into the food processor, you could also use a blender. Uh, you could do this by hand too, if you really wanted to. Okay, our sweetener of choice is maple syrup. So it calls for a quarter cup, so I've doubled it. And in it goes, into the sink. All right, and then vanilla extract, the real deal. Some water to get it going in there. And of course, always some sea salt quality sea salt, not your table salt. So you can also use like a magic bullet for this. I'm just gonna get it going. Maybe a spatula. I'm gonna pause 
that. I'm just going to wipe the sides down. And depending on big your avocados are, this recipe, it will change the consistency of the recipe. So bear that in mind. Let it rip. And the best part of making this is tasting it. And make sure you wipe down all the sides because this gets very messy. Doing it in a food processor or blender just gives it that like extra creamy texture. I think this is all done. Okay, I'm gonna serve a tiny little bit of it in the bowl I had the salt in. Check that out. It's just this beautiful, creamy, chocolatey texture. Let's give it a try. Mm. So awesome. It's got like a dark, a dark chocolate taste to it, so it's a lot more rich, but it's absolutely delectable. You can put berries on top of that. You can put a dollop of coconut cream. Coconut yogurt would be excellent too. So you could even serve it up in these little guys. All right, hope you enjoyed that and uh, check out my recipe on my website.